Baldwin Knob Mayor Doyle Wallace says he heard the chatter. There was something on TV that I didn't see. The Colbert program. So we pulled it up on a computer in his office. <laughs> but in these hard times, many small towns are losing their moral compass. A Stephen Colbert special report about Bald Knob's bingo ban. B I N G O. <laughs> and danger is its name O. The story portrays Pastor Larry Johnson's so called crusade to end bingo at the senior center before it led to it's vandalism, methamphetamines, burglaries, crack cocaine, suicide, it destroys families. Granny even has six. That's what Johnson said, but not what he meant. Well, I basically spoke about uh, the gambling situation and the church's stance uh, on gambling, and, you know, somehow they blew it up made it sensational. If you saw the report, you would have thought the problem with bingo in Bald Knob was sex. But the people we talked to said it was one statement taken out of context, and it really didn't even get at the heart of the issue. Well, that's not the case at all. That's, that's not a problem that we have in Bald Knob, and, you know, that's not really what the story was about. And it was sort of a, a satire. Uh, uh, humor at, uh, at our expense, so to speak. Wallace says he and the city council voted to end bingo because it was losing money and was a strain on the people running it. You didn't stop bingo because of drugs and sex. Absolutely not. Wallace was so media shy, he only agreed to speak to us on one condition. So I mentioned to you, Adam, that uh, that I'd be glad to give you what I can on that if, if you'd come look at some of the good stuff in our town. So we interviewed him in front of Bald Knob's recently completed Veterans Wall. A compromise we had no problem with. Did you have any interest in seeing that piece they ran last night? Not really. Not really.